Well, police are still looking for whoever stole several works of art from vendors at the Three Rivers Arts Festival over the weekend. Some artists were considering sleeping in their booths last night just to try to protect their work. Bob Allen has the latest on the investigation and what the festival's organizers are saying. There were no surprises waiting for Chris Jackson when his booth opened for business in Point State Park this morning. Someone stole four of his paintings early Sunday, worth more than $3,000. He thinks beefed up security made a difference last night. If anyone looked back there last night, that you saw a lot of uh, security people watching and, and really kind of stepping up. Um, it might have been a little bit of hole uh, the night before, but you know that's all been, been stopped up. Jackson was one of four artists in Point State Park targeted by thieves over the weekend. The Pittsburgh Cultural Trust has since taken action. We have added security around the entire footprint of the festival and we're asking our patrons and visitors to help us um, if they see anything suspicious to please visit the public safety tent. When I came in there was you know, nothing gone so hopefully uh, the beef of security helped. Thomas Williams worried about his booth after hearing about the thefts. Others like Carol Clay and Mac Chambers have the benefit of surveillance cameras. We're in a very we good are, spot. Yeah. We are very happy here. Um, Almost always all the jewelers take everything out at night and people with original paintings take things out at night. Meanwhile, Pittsburgh native Lex Cavado is recovering from the theft of an original Andy Warhol painting. She's getting lots of support on social media. One of the big things I heard from people said, you know, they said they make Pittsburgh look bad. It makes Pittsburgh look bad and this is not what Pittsburgh is like. And I agree, it's not what Pittsburgh is like. Bob Allen, KDKA News.